got the win the other night. What's going to take to try to double these guys up and get a second win over them at home? Same mindset, same uh, same focus level. Um, you know, we, we we I'm sure everybody in the locker room, the coaching staff knows what we're trying to accomplish uh, tomorrow night. So I mean, that's the main focus. Cam, what, what does it mean to be playing this? I know they probably already had this opportunity where you thought it was your last game at the Arena, but now it's actually here. Uh, what does it mean for you to be playing this? Oh, uh, I don't know. They were talking about getting another year of eligibility after this. Uh, no, uh, I'm just grateful to be here. Uh, happy to be a part of this team. Um, and, you know, I, I think the job's not done. So I don't really look at it as, you know, kind of the last game or anything like that. You know, uh, the goal is still to move forward and win a conference championship. How appreciative of you are that to have this opportunity to be back again for this final run? Uh, very appreciative. Uh, you know, I think. Mostly for me, it's just the fact that I've been healthy um, and been able to actually help this team in a way that I feel like I'm able to help them. So that's, that's been the best part. Cam, after the Marshall game, I saw where you were talking to the ESPN announcer saying part of that winning really what you guys have done this year is built on a culture of resiliency. Just kind of touching on what he was asking, how much do you feel like you contributed to that resiliency and that leadership just being with these guys this year? Uh, just trying to lead by example, you know, I've. Um, I battled through a lot of adversity in uh, my college career and, you know, every, every time I've kind of bounced back and I think, you know, just kind of leading by example, being a guy that they can come to and talk to, um, being that leader out there on the court, kind of a coach, player, slash guy, um, just just doing everything in my power to be the best I can be for this team. Uh, you know, Cam, uh, I know still one game left in the regular season. I'm not sure if we're going to talk to you between now and conference tournament, but Two years ago, you didn't get a chance to play in the conference tournament with Western. You know, what does that opportunity, um, you know, look like for you now? And what does that mean to you to finally get that chance? Um, you know, that was really kind of the main factor in me coming back. You know, when me and Coach actually sat down and had that conversation and me having a chance of doing it, um, and he asked me if I was willing to do it, and I told him, yeah, immediately because for me this was going to be my closure package of you know basketball. Um, you know, like I said the other day to uh, some reporter about, you know, being an athlete your whole life, the end of a season is with a tournament. And in that tournament, you either win the whole thing or you get beat out of it. And that's just the way it is being an athlete. Uh, that year, I felt like we were capable of winning the championship, but, you know, it was never got to find out. So it was kind of just like a open, hollow feeling uh, left inside my head and my stomach. So, I mean, it's been it's been good knowing that we've made it this far and we're going to get that chance to play. You know, what do you remember about that day when you found out the tournament was going to get canceled? Because it seemed like it was all that came across really sudden. You know, there were teams in Frisco warming up to their games just a few minutes away. Uh, really, it was, a, it was a strange feeling, I think, more or less that like the the whole country, the whole world was pretty much been put on pause. Uh, so nobody really knew how to react. Uh, the emotions and feelings of the whole situation of what was going ar around, you know, the the entire world was just hazy. Nobody really knew what was going on. Nobody knew what to expect. So, I mean, at that moment, I wasn't really thinking about basketball. I was more worried about, you know, like, is this going to happen to me? Is it going to happen to some of my family members, you know, close friends or anything like that? So. Um, the more I thought about it, it was bigger than basketball, so is what it is. Josh, um, you know, last year, your last game here could have been, you know, your last game here. You get to end it with, uh, you know, posing for trophies with Tay and the guys and stuff. You know, coming back and, yeah. and playing this whole year, what's this experience, you know, been like? you obviously not done yet, though. Uh, well, yeah, like you said, we're obviously not done. But at the same time, you know, it's been great. You know, I got uh, to play the last game in Diddle, or what I thought was going to be my last game in Diddle last year with a, uh, with a great group of guys, some guys, you know, that's going to be my friends, my family members forever. And now I get to come back and do that again with another great group of guys. So it's just, I don't know, I, I feel like it hasn't hit me yet because the job's not done and we still got to play games and go out and do what we want to do. But at the same time, it's just, I'm just grateful to be here. Step onto the court tomorrow. I guess it applies to you too, Cam. When you step out and see the EA Diddle fans, Western fans, and you walk off for the last time, regardless of how the game goes, what's going to go through your mind? You know, what do you anticipate those emotions being like once you walk off that court
Uh, mm, that's a good question. Um, I mean, as long as we get the job done, you know, everything's gonna be everything's gonna be cool. So I feel like that's just the biggest, you know, the biggest thing that we're worried about is just going out and get the dub. Uh, you know, Josh, uh, at Marshall the other day, you tied the program record for games played, and on Saturday you will break that record. You know, what does that mean to you, being the guy that's played more games than anybody else in Western Kentucky basketball history? Um, I feel like it's a it's a great honor, just from from all the guys that has played here in the past. Um, just for me to say that I played the most games here, I feel like it's a great honor, and um, I'm just happy to wear it. Josh, uh, I know that you've had many electrifying dunks over your career here, but one of them is right back here. That dunk against Marshall, and you look at that, and you're your day. Again against Marshall. Um. That would be nice to go out with a with a nice dunk like that, but like I said before, I feel like as long as we get the win, you know, everybody's gonna be happy. You know, going back to that very first game you played, it was against Marshall, had the record against Marshall. But going back to that first game, um, you know, kind of middle of the season, getting to play, what do you remember about that day and, and that game? Uh, sh- probably one of the happiest days of my life, for real. Just I remember just getting that call and just being so happy and so anxious to play my first college basketball game because, you know, it was just a dream for me growing up, you know, all through elementary school, middle school, high school. And um, just for that time to finally come, you know, I had to wait it out for a little longer than I thought. But when it came, I was just happy and anxious to play. What was that call from Rick? Um, I think I got the call from Zach, honestly, yeah. Yeah, because I was at the crib. Matter of fact, I was at the house, and um, all the guys was on the bus and stuff, and then one of the guys that called me, they was like, you know, just get ready and pack. And I thought that was playing kind of, so, you know, I just started packing, got on the bus, and then that's when it finally hit me, like, yeah, I'm about to play my first college basketball game. You know, how much of a leadership role and an increase in what you do on the court have you seen, um, you know, this year, being that fifth-year guy, one of the older guys, and, um, you know, I guess how you feel like that's gone this year? Um, I feel like it's, it's been great. You know, just being an older guy, I feel like guys kind of levitate to you because they kind of know that, you know, you know what's going on out there and you, you've you been through a lot of stuff and just seen a lot of stuff and they come to you for advice and it's just great to just give those young guys advice and just help them with, you know, navigate throughout their career. You know, you and Tay, um, you know, were kind of those first couple of guys that Rick brought in. You played your first four years with him, and obviously your branch is pretty well documented. Yeah. What's it been like, you know, this year without having him here, and what's your relationship like with Tay now? Um, actually, me and Tay, we talked the other day for real. But we talk every now and then, just check up on each other, see how everything's going with each other. But um, I mean, it's just great when you could have friendships like that and just play ball together. And I mean, it's just it's a great feeling to have that and just know that that's going to be there forever. Anything else for you? Did you guys get your Christmas ring? 